the idea was kind of looked at as crazy. Um, like, oh, come on, this isn't going to save our school. Well, the main challenge was just trying to get the school to actually put the fuel on the bus. You know, and I just kept at it and then finally convinced them uh, last year in January to put the fuel on the bus. And... Hi, my name is Michael Rogers. I'm the founder and executive director of Biodiesel US. My uh, daughter was riding the bus and it was taking about an hour for her to get home and the school had um, some budget troubles so they were cutting the bus routes. Bus Inc. is a waste of fuel organization that provides free fuel for schools until they decide to take on buying it and then we will continue to fund them through um, assistance like uh, field trips or paying for teachers uh, artwork or you know their pencils the paper and tape or whatever they need. When I first heard about biodiesel I was uh, pretty skeptical. I'm a skeptical person anyways but you know I was pretty skeptical but uh, Mike came to us and he agreed to donate the fuel and I agreed to try one bus. Uh, with biodiesel you can use one unit of energy to make three units of energy. Uh, it's just a cleaner process. It doesn't take millions of years to make. You can actually press it. Any farmer can grow it. Uh, you can collect it from uh, restaurants as uh, used cooking oil. You can uh, crush camelina or peanut oil or you know, soybean, corn, do whatever you want and just to get the vegetable oil and you can process it out of that. We came up with this idea that we could uh, collect waste vegetable oil and actually convert it into biodiesel, react it, and then give it to the schools for them to save money. So it's definitely been over probably a year and a half, I believe, uh, when I was approached to do this program and I was really excited to be able to take a product that we're per pretty much through with and do something very significant with and not just have it thrown away or done something with. Now we can actually make a difference and we're really proud of that here. Okay, to get a bus ready to use biodiesel, we haven't done anything. We just put it in the tank and that's it, blend it, and, and we're ready to go. We haven't done anything. The great thing about buses, most of them have uh, International Engines, Cummings, um, Detroit Diesels, um, Caterpillars. Uh, all those engines, for the most part, are certified 100% biodiesel. They can, uh, they can run. Most of the diesels out there can run on biodiesel. It's just really up to the manufacturer whether they want to make a car that runs on biodiesel or not. You can have a dirty, smoky bus, or you can put biodiesel in there and make it cleaner for them. Plus, uh, you know, we're running out of oil, and we're constantly having to go overseas to try to find it. You know, we're knocking on other people's doors saying, hey, we need oil, and if you're not going to give it to us, we're going to fight for it. And uh, this way, we, we, have a, um, we can grow our own fuel. You know, it's our, part of our national security. We have our own supply. We, we have it here. We can do it. And uh, if we teach the children now that this is a viable source of fuel, they'll grow up and they'll know about it. And they'll want to push it. It's very satisfying on the level of um, knowing that you can uh, deliver 100 gallons to the school and saying, you know, I just saved them $400 just by making some fuel for them. And then going to a restaurant and then telling them, saying, hey, thank you. you know, you were able to provide a field trip for the third grade class. Um, it's, it just feels good.